What's up, everybody? It is the Big Game Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play. What the hell am I doing playing this game? Anyways, in the last part, we got through the, well, I guess you could say the tutorial level of this game and made our way to Rivertown. In this episode, we are going to hopefully find a way out of Rivertown and into the next area. But first, I'm going to kung fu these bo barrels so that I can eat a bug. Awesome. Anyways, uh, what's this little brat have to say? Wait, didn't I see you from the intro? How dare you make me have to go through this hole? Ah! Alright. Oh, God. Hello I'm sorry, but too. if What's a frog name? says hi, little buddy, and it's a giant, four foot, amphibious, green skinned, t shirt, short, khaki short, backpack wearing combo frog that speaks English saying hi to you, I wouldn't. This isn't the way you would react. You'd be running like hell. I'm Frogger, and I'm looking for. Whoa, that's gonna be hard with all the goblins around. Ah, uh, no problemo. <sighs> Goblins, huh? Some are. Some aren't. But I can't take I can't I can't a understand this guy's scared. eyes. Yeah, Look at him, they're so lifeless and soulless. Hey, that's too bad. It so, looks like it, I'm talking you know to a reanimated corpse. Somewhere? No, not really. But old Bruiser the Bear might know. Gee, you're cool. Maybe we can fish it. Right here. Okay, I gotta admit something I didn't make uh, take note in the last um, ep in the last part. Although you can see it better, is the fact that if you look closely on Frogger's shirt, you can see the symbol of a truck crossed out, which is I get to admit is a pretty good homage to the past games. I will say this right now from the bottom of my heart, that's actually a really good reference they made, and it's one of the only good things about this. And ooh, we got a, a magic stone. Uh, magic stones. There's three in this game. We got an ice one. Ice ones will basically what it says will we will uh when we activate it we will be able to freeze enemies in place and i do not want to activate this stone uh what do i do what was it again um ah whatever anyways as i was saying uh the stones uh uh we use them the ice freezes enemies in place there's fire which will make our spit fireballs Yes, I am not kidding. We will be able to spit fireballs, even though it's not that helpful. Actually, no, it is actually somewhat helpful in later situations. And the wind one, which will let us uh, move much faster. And that is going to be probably the most helpful of them all. Are you Mr. Bruiser? Might be. What's it to you? My name's Frogger, and I was told you could tell me where to find the prince. You got that right. Tell you what. Cross my cable car and follow the trial to Slick Willie. He'll show you the river princess just like that. Wow! This is my lucky... Now hold on a minute, frog fella. To cross my cable car, you need to give old Bruiser some honey first. Eh, eh, oh, drat. I don't have any. Don't you worry none. The yellow bees will give you some if you ask them real nice like. But why don't you get honey from them yourself? Well, I would, but I'm allergic to bees, and we don't get along these days. So be a good little frog fella and bring old Bruiser the sweet stuff. And just like that, you'll get to ride across on my cable car on your way to the princess. Okay, so I, that seems easy enough. And actually, I'm not lying, that is as easy as it sounds. Getting to there is very, very easy, because if you remember in the last part, where that little part I cut off, because that's the way we had to go. So, let's just head on that way, uh, just hope I don't lose my track of where I had to go this way. Alright, so let's just continue it on. Again, I will say, the music in this game is also probably the only good thing I can say about this is the fact that the music is actually very good and it's really well done and I think that's where most of the talent for this game was poured into. Again, I still feel like this is just an unfinished game. It could have been something really good ex if th it had more time to be polished out a bit more. Alright, so let's just continue on, head over here, 
I still can't believe my friend opted out the last minute as to not join me throughout these recordings. You know who you are. I'm not going to disclose her name because I know she's going to kill me if I do. Uh, but you know who you are out there, and how dare you make me go through this hellhole all by myself. You owe me big time. You know what the progress of getting these coins? I think I might actually get more than one um, concept art. Again, I will be buying whatever concept art I want. I will be getting some because there's some enemies and characters that I just want to take notice to because... Let's just say it's somewhat... Uh, it's just somewhat important to take notice to them. Um, gem under here, I guess that's okay. Not really the important with the for progression for this game. And yeah! Ah! 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 Oh, jeez. Look at the size of that thing! Look at that! You know what? I spit on you! I spit on you for your terrible character design. I will say, the enemy's designs in this game are also somewhat pretty good. And I don't know what these things are. I think these are checkpoints that you get throughout the game. Actually, yeah, I think that's what those are. So let's just head on over here, and the bees are right around the corner. I, there I go, talking with that crappy accent. And here we are. What's up, green guy? I hope you can help me, please. I'm trying to find a princess, but I need a little honey to give to the bear, so he'll let me cross on the cable car to look for her. Can you help me, please? Here you go. Hope this helps. Did he just do the Tony the Tiger thing? Wow, that sounds like something you'd hear from one of those old point-and-click adventures on that you get like back in third grade. Actually, I think I remember hearing that from a game I played back in third grade. A uh, quick note about the bees here: you can go in guns ablazing if you want, uh, it, but if you attack one bee, they will all be gunning for your skin at. If you do. And now, just to avoid mundane backtracking, I'm going to cut back to Rivertown just to um, save up on time and all that stuff. So, with that said and done, I will see you in just a bit right after. Ah, screw it. I'm not going to bother with those coins. Alright, see you in just a bit. Alrighty, and I am back. There's not much mundane. The only thing I can say is if you are playing alone at home, uh, if you go through that area, you will be jumped by a couple of mosquitoes, but they're fairly easy to take care of, so I don't think you ha will have any problems. Got my honey yet? Yep, here you go. All yours. So we jump in my cable car and I'll crank you to the other side. Then follow the trail down the hill till you get to Slick Willie's old riverboat. Okay, barefoot. <laughs> I'm on it. Take good care, buddy. If you go swimming, don't feed the fish. Much obliged, Bruiser. You're the beast. I mean, best. <laughs> and if you make one more joke about me, I'm gonna be. You will be the next one I'm eating. Alrighty. So, what do I get? I get. Oh, 250. All right. Maybe I got enough for more than one concept. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? I'll go with this one. Um, and this one, I guess. The one thing that really that really gets under my skin is the fact that you the the progress you make doesn't carry o carry over. Let's see. So we got Bruiser. I will say that something about this is the concept art for this game. Most of the characters in it are just absolutely terrifying. I mean, look at him. Look at him. Uh, we also got the Pikefish, which is that giant fish that you saw that almost ate me. Um, if you do bios on enemies, uh, they will do, 
I guess you could say the uh, if you get the concept for enemies, it is helpful because it does give you some tips as to how to fight them. So, I guess that's good enough. Uh, I'm not gonna save the game, don't see any point in doing so. Slick Wheelie's Riverboat. Loading, 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 loading. This game has a lot of loading. Yeah. I don't know why I just broke out in the sun right there. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we have our water level of the game. Yeah, and that's... There's so much originality about this game, it's just really sickening. Alright, so I might as well just start off with the mundane coin collecting. As I said before in the last episode, I will not be getting all the coins. It's just the coins that I see that are near me. Coins that are easy to get, and coins that I just feel like getting. If they're way out of the way, like there's some coins located under the riverboat, I will not be getting those. Why? Because I could care less about them. Uh, there's spike fish located, like this giant one that's swinging straight towards me. Go away, please. Go away, go away. The hell? What? Okay, seriously, I'm on land. I'm on a platform above it. Enemies can hit you from below. That makes no sense. Another reason why this game sucks. Now I hear a kitty cat. Kitty? Cat! Ow! Ah. Take that cat. Alright, so let's just head on in, and, oh my god, it's, it's the best thing ever. It's cats playing poker. Yeah, okay, fine, alright, fine, I can, I can live with that, alright, fine, fine. Yeah, l just, l just, just frame this stuff, and I'll make calls to museums that I haven't sent in to wherever. Yeah, 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 you can do that, okay, fine, whatever, okay, let's just talk to them and see if they know how to get out of here. Got any three. I was lying, they were playing Go Fish. Hello. What do you want, Swamp Thing? Can't you see we're busy? Hi. Why does that voice sound familiar? Princess. Maybe you should run along, Froggy, before something nasty happens. But I'm looking for the River Princess. Oh, so you want to mess up my card game? I never said I that. Oh, a wise guy, eh? Get him, boys. Okay, boy. Oh, good. All right, completely pointless fight right here. Easy to do so. Just hop up on the, one of the tables and s ow! I said, hop up on one of the table. Hop on one of the tables. Hop on table. Frog go on table. Frog go on table. Thank you. And just sp spit on it if I can get anywhere close. The controls are so bad in this game. Die 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 There goes two cats and now I will beat the living crab with my frog coop fool. You cannot beat me off for I have frog fool! What did he just say? Alright, and for doing so we get the key to the door over there. I guess that's helpful. Uh, gets me closer to the end of this game, so I guess that's helpful. I mean, it, that way I can end this nightmare once and for all. Now, if I remember correctly, we will be jumped by a cat, another cat, right up there. I do not know what I just collected. I don't know if that was a coin or a gem. Huh, because why we were jumped by a cat up here somewhere? Huh. Oh, no, wait, it's in here that we get jumped. There he is. Ugh, bad combat is bad! Alright, I think we have enough time to just get to the top of the riverboat, and then I think that's gonna do it. Die, 
die, die. I really need to find some bugs. Meow, see? Meow. Oh, uh, really need to find some bugs. I guess you could say this game is buggy at times, which is uh, truth and reality. And cat! 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 more cats! I don't get it! Why cats? In sailor outfits. I don't get it! Uh, Alright, I guess I had the kung fu chop the air for some reason. Reason. I guess that was important to the plot of this game. Don't forget, if you're playing along, you have to kung fu chop that part of the air or else you cannot proceed. And, ooh, bugs. Thank you! Alrighty. So, we've made it to the top of the river, but we made it out of Rivertown. I... Eh, you know what? I think we can finish up this level. Yeah, I, th I think we have enough time, so guess what? Oh, ooh, more bugs. Let's get... Good. Now, as I was saying... Now, how do you think we're supposed to be getting out of here? Hmm... Well, the camera zoomed in on this pointy, nice-looking little bell. I think that we should just stare at it for a while. Or just spit at it three times, and that rings the bell that opens the door over there. Don't know where the key is for this thing. I think it's located either under the boat or on one of the islands or the docks over there. But honestly, I could give I don't give two craps about it, so don't bother with me if saying, oh, but the key's over there, you should go get it, because there's so much amazing stuff in there. No. Alright, so what we have to do to progress? Walk in the door and walk straight out. How? Why? I don't know. Alright, so let's just head on out. I think we're running up on, up on 15 minutes right here, so I think we'll follow the coin trail and then we'll end the part off. And we do get a good fair amount of coins in right here, and the hell? Where'd you come from? Hi, well, I'm here to meet the river princess. Well, I... We'll have to continue this riveting conversation next time because I feel like ending it right here on this cutscene. Alright, so, with everything said and done, we've made it to the riverboat and all that stuff. We've met some sort of killer croc slash cold one here. Let's try to like to call it killer croc cold. Um, next time on Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest, we will be going on to seeing if he knows where said River Princess is. See you guys next time. Later!